say all you want to be is noticed. It's not enough. I want to be recognised as queer. Catching cops! <laughs> you couldn't make it up, could you? I first met Betty Bourne when I was researching a play that I wrote. And I said at one point, oh, this reminds me of the drag commune I lived in. Drag commune? Dawn. Tell us about it. It was like a family. This mad, colourful, bright, wonderful tribe. He just thought, well, what's the best way to tell this guy's story? This is me. He's an actor. Let's put it on the stage. Tremendous cheers, tremendous applause. Oh, look. Other gems. And that's your mum and dad quite young? Yes. Yes, probably when they were courting. He pushed me up against the sink and he whacked me across the face till he was tired. I knew you had to be secretive about it and you didn't have to tell anybody else. Most people didn't think they knew any gay people at all. It was like I had a disease. Gradually, the suits dropped away. Got photos. <laughs> I mean, it was very, very busy action and activity. That's what people believed in then. Walking down Oxford Street, all dressed up, screaming our tits off. What is that smell? Yeah! The anarchy sort of built, really. Oh, the nuns, the nuns. And they did this whole can-can thing. I decided I'm going to have my own theatre group. Betty was like a, a tyrant. And this woman came rushing up. It's wonderful, darling, it's wonderful. We shall book you. And our first booking was in a loft space. And they loved it. And it's something like this could only happen in New York. <laughs> People came down and said, they're fighting on the stairs to get in. I loved it. <laughs> I fucking loved it!